Buckwheat is the most common summer cover crop in southern New England. It grows fast, works well to smother weeds, attracts beneficial insects, and makes phosphorus available for the following crop. However, buckwheat has some drawbacks. Buckwheat has a small, shallow root system that does not add much organic matter to the soil and does not tolerate flooding or mowing, all of which can be problematic for cover crops. The University of Rhode Island vegetable production team looked at alternatives to buckwheat for summer planting in between cash crops. One which looks promising is Irogrostis teff, otherwise known as teff. Teff is a warm season annual grass traditionally used as grain and forage in Ethiopia. It is adapted to the high altitude tropics, growing well at temperatures 50 to 85 degrees, but requires a day length of 11 to 13 hours to flower. As an alternative to buckwheat, teff has some distinct advantages. It can be mowed, which increases the amount of organic matter produced. It can be grazed, and it tolerates both flooding and drought. Teff does not flower until late August under typical New England growing conditions. This reduces seed production and the likelihood that teff will become a weed in subsequent crops. Teff also tolerates foot traffic and can be used in alleys between plantings, mowed or unmowed. Teff will winter kill and can be left in place for erosion control over the winter and turned in during the spring. To determine the window of opportunity for successfully establishing teff in Rhode Island, we looked at the effects of seeding date and seeding rate on teff biomass production in 2015 and 2016. Seeding took place every two weeks, from May 20th to August 15th in 2015, and from June 12th to July 22nd in 2016. It was found that seeding before June 15th or after July 30th significantly reduced biomass production. But by seeding between June 21st and mid-July, this allowed for the most biomass to be produced. The July 16th seeding was the most productive in 2015, while the June 24th and July 8th seedings were the most productive in 2016. A soil temperature of 68 degrees appears to be the minimum for good establishment, and daily high temperatures above 80 degrees give the best growth. Air and soil temperatures remain favorable for growth throughout August, but teff seeded in August begins flowering soon after establishment, resulting in low biomass production. At its peak, teff produced 1.5 to 2 tons dry biomass per acre by 6 weeks after seeding, Allowing the teff to grow for eight weeks significantly increased biomass production when seeding in June 2016 and July 2015. The differences exhibited may have been a result of rainfall patterns, as July and August of 2016 were extremely dry months. Researchers in Oregon have been able to establish good stands of teff for forage with rates as low as three pounds per acre. But here in Rhode Island, teff was seeded at 7, 8.5, 12, and 18 pounds per acre on June 19th, 2015, using a brilliant cultipacker. Overall, the 7-pound rate gave the most biomass, producing the tallest plants and the fewest weeds. At 10 weeks after seeding, teff produced 2.9 tons of above-ground dry matter per acre. Differences in performance between seeding rates were small. All seeding rates were able to outcompete the weeds, and at 10 weeks after seeding, weed biomass was less than 10% of teff biomass for all seeding rates. Teff seeds are tiny, and a seeding depth of more than one half inch results in poor establishment. Seed beds should be well tilled. Planting with a cultipacker or brilliant seeder, or rolling after broadcasting the seed, is recommended for good seed to soil contact. As a grass, teff benefits from an application of at least 40 pounds nitrogen per acre during or soon after planting. Teff is tolerant of post-emergent broadleaf herbicides, including sandia, used for control of yellow nuts edge. Irrigation may be necessary to establish the crop, but once established, teff is highly drought tolerant. In conclusion, the URI vegetable production team found that teff is an effective summer cover crop when seeded from mid-June through July. Teff's ability to surpass weeds is comparable to buckwheat, with the added advantage that teff can be mowed or grazed at any time after establishment and is less likely to go to seed. A 50-pound bag of teff seed costs more than a 50-pound bag of buckwheat seed, but because teff has a much lower seeding rate, a rate of 7 to 9 pounds per acre, the cost per acre is much less.